You wake up, roll over, and delay that first bathroom trip. Maybe you're tired, maybe you're busy, but what seems like a harmless habit could be slowly destroying your kidneys. Doctors now warn that holding in your morning urine doesn't just stretch your bladder. It breeds dangerous bacteria, damages vital nerves, and can lead to infections so severe they damage your kidneys badly. From urinary tract infections to full-blown kidney failure, the damage starts quietly, and experts note concentrated morning urine makes delays somewhat riskier too. The real question is not, can you hold it? But it's, is your silence in the morning quietly silencing your body's most important warning? Stick with me, because the three-step morning fix I'll share could save your kidneys, your health, and possibly your life. Number one, why holding your morning urine is so dangerous. You may think holding your pee is completely okay, but you couldn't be more wrong. It actually causes a lot of problems. We're talking about problems that mess you up in the long run. See, when you make a habit out of holding your pee, the bladder loses its natural flexibility. Dr. Jason Kim, clinical associate professor of urology at the Renaissance School of Medicine at Stony Brook University on Long Island, New York, said, there's a complex neurological system that controls urination. Your kidneys make urine and then it's funneled down two tubes called ureters to the bladder. I'd say normal bladder capacity is about 400 to 600 cubic centimeters. The capacity of a bladder actually varies from human to human. Children have smaller bladders since their bodies aren't fully developed. If the bladder is made to hold liquid more than it can, it may be forced to stretch out. And even though healthy bladders are capable of stretching and accommodating larger volumes of urine, it may become dangerous if it's done too often. When you're holding your pee, you're going over capacity. And when that happens, one of the first symptoms you might experience is pain or discomfort in your bladder or kidneys over time. With time, urinating becomes painful. Apart from the discomfort that you may feel in your kidneys and bladder, you may also experience pelvic cramps after you have released your urine. This happens since your muscles stay partially clenched after you have urinated. A muscle named the urethral sphincter is affected in particular. It keeps the urethra closed to prevent any urine from leaking out. And if this muscle gets damaged, it may lead to urinary incontinence, which means urine leaking out, which means embarrassing accidents. So what does a bladder do? It stores urine and empties urine. So holding your urine too long can lead to problems in the future such as urinary tract infections, urinary leakage, and then bladder wall weakening. So when you feel that need to pee, go pee. And it's not just the muscles. Your nerves, the ones that carry the messages from the bladder to the brain, are destroyed in the process as well. In a healthy body, these nerves tell the brain that you need to go to the bathroom. But when you're not following through on what your brain is telling you, you're messing with the body's natural communication system. Over time, the brain learns not to take these signals seriously, and that means you lose control over your bladder. In the medical community, it's called the neurogenic bladder. For you, it means a number of doctor visits for years for something that could have been avoided altogether if you listened to your body. Another drawback of holding in your pee for too long is recurrent UTIs. Why is that? Well, when your bladder is overstretched, too much pressure damages its lining and defenses. Add the stagnant urine in the equation and you've got yourself a breeding ground for infection. This has been proven by the Urology Care Foundation, which advises people to avoid holding in their urine for extended periods. Dr. Jamin Bramhat, a urologist at Orlando Health and a CNN contributor, also confirmed that holding urine can create a breeding ground for bacteria. People who have bad hygiene and suffer from dehydration may have a higher risk of developing a UTI. Common symptoms of UTI include a burning feeling during urination, pain in the pelvis, or bloody urine. In more serious cases, the UTI may spread upward into the kidneys, a disease commonly known as pyelonephritis. And in case things get worse, the infection may enter the bloodstream. And once that happens, it can lead to life-threatening sepsis. You'll also find yourself visiting the doctor with complaints of kidney stones. See, not peeing for a long time can cause kidney stones. According to the Mayo Clinic, kidney stones form when calcium, oxalate, and uric acid become concentrated in the urine and crystallize together into hard deposits inside kidneys. And while multiple factors contribute to kidney stones, habitual delay in urinating seems to play a significant role. And if you're wondering why, well, the kidney's natural job is to remove toxins from the body. Dr. David Schusterman, 
board-certified urologist at NY Urology in New York City, explained, We were built this way because if we just peed as we were walking along, let's say, the road, our predators would smell us. Urine has concentrated toxins in it, which is why your body is trying to get rid of it. And so what ends up happening is you want to hold the toxins in because they have a smell to them. And you want to be able to excrete the toxins in a time where you're more protected. Meanwhile, Dr. Subhash Chandra Bose Inturi, consultant urologist at the Asian Institute of Nephrology and Urology, Hyderabad, explained, This common habit, especially among working women who avoid public restrooms, can lead to kidney stones, recurrent urinary infections, and damage to kidney and bladder function. To reduce these risks, it's crucial to stay hydrated and urinate every three to four hours, and also clearly understand the risks involved. Unfortunately, it looks like holding urine is a common practice all around the world. Kim further added, We see a lot of this happening in nurses and teachers. They don't go to the bathroom at all throughout the day, when they're on shift or in the classroom. Now you see how one small morning mistake can start a deadly chain reaction. But let's look closer at how infections destroy your kidneys if you delay too often. Number two, how morning urine delays lead to kidney failure. So your bladder will be telling you to pee, but you are forming Mr. and Mrs. Controller. Abby, some of you will even hold your pee for hours. I see. Are you planning to set a Guinness World Record? Uh -huh. See, eh? let me tell you. Your urine is a combination of excess water, salt, urea, and other waste products taken from the blood. <laughs> anyway, it's what's formed after your kidneys have filtered your blood of anything excessive or toxic. Then, all of this is passed to your bladder, which then, when it is halfway full, reminds you to take out the trash. But because you have coconut head, you refuse to listen, Don't right? Continue. First, you could give yourself pelvic cramps, which can cause painful urination when you finally decide to pee. Also, you risk developing a urinary tract infection because the pee has stayed too long and it has encouraged ascending bacteria to grow inside your kidney. You could also develop enuresis, forcing your bladder to stretch beyond its normal size and it can also harm your pelvic floor muscles. And when all of this happens, you start pissing the piece that you did not ask to come out. And of course, you can also end yourself kidney stones. And when that happens, it's possible that you will dash me money for surgery. Now, Doc is not saying that we should pee on our body or else we will die. Mm -mm. I mean, there is nothing wrong with holding pee when you don't have a choice. But like I always used to tell you, too much of anything is bad. So don't make a habit of holding your urine. If your pee catch you, pee somewhere for one place. Don't hold it too. Now, of course, holding your pee at any time of the day is equally harmful. But according to research, delays in the morning can raise the risk of severe kidney infections. Why is that so? What makes morning delays riskier? Well, the urine in your body is more concentrated since it has been in there overnight. And according to medical experts, that's a vacation hotspot for bacteria. But that's just the beginning of the consequences. In situations where the bladder isn't emptied properly, the urine is most likely to travel back into the ureters, the tubes connecting the kidneys to the bladder. From there, it may enter the kidneys. This backup may lead to a condition called hydronephrosis, the swelling of the kidneys. In return, the pressure from hydronephrosis can further damage the kidney tissue. And that's how your kidneys end up failing. The worst part? The disease goes undetected, and by the time the symptoms do show up, the kidneys are beyond saving. Still, you can keep an eye out for some early signs like lower back pain, fever, chills, and foul-smelling urine. Apart from the hydronephrosis, frequent infections can seriously scar your kidney tissues. And if it becomes a chronic issue, you're looking at reduced filtration and eventual kidney failure. And that's why it's important to urinate every three to four hours and rush to the bathroom whenever you need to. It's a natural biological function, and when you mess with nature, it's never a happy ending. Raymond Lavallee a urologist and urologic oncologist with Bethesda Hospital East says, The more you pee, the better your kidney health will be. Now that you understand the danger of not going to the bathroom when you need to, let's dive into the tiny daily fix that protects your kidneys starting tomorrow morning. Number 3. The Simple Morning Habit that can save your kidneys. See, most people know all about the drawbacks of holding pee for long periods of time. The real problem is breaking that nasty habit of not going to the bathroom when needed. Lucky for you, there's a three-step morning routine that can change your life. Step one, the first step is pretty simple. Once you're wide awake, sit at the edge of your bed for 30 seconds. This will help in making sure your blood pressure is steady. 
Step two, next up, activate circulation within your body. You can do this by flexing your toes and lightly pumping your calves. Step three, now, finally, instead of going on your phone or delaying, head over to the washroom. This is actually the most important step. Skip out on this, and the other two steps are practically useless. Now we know it sounds like a simple three-step method, but in reality, you're doing yourself a favor. This three-step method may support better bladder and kidney health for those who delay too many times during each busy day. More importantly, it keeps your kidneys healthy. How's that, you ask? Well, it can maintain healthy blood flow while helping you flush out bacteria before they begin rapid growth. More importantly, the instant urination protects kidney filtration units from infectious damage. And that's how this tiny shift in morning habits saves your kidneys. And guess what? You can seal the habit with a seven day morning rescue challenge to make it automatic. Number four, seven day morning kidney rescue challenge. All you gotta do is practice the three steps we talked about for seven days. And boom, you'll be automatically trained to do all of it when you wake up for the rest of your life. The first two days are easy stuff. All you gotta do is set an alarm the night before, labeling it bathroom first. This way, when your alarm goes off in the morning and you read the label, you'll know what to do. After you practice setting your alarm, you can move on to the next steps. For the next three days, practice slow sit-ups, calf pumps, followed by immediate bathroom visits. And just like that, you're halfway there. For the last two days, you have to focus on what you do after you empty your bladder. Within 10 minutes of urinating, drink one glass of water to hydrate yourself and to keep your kidneys healthy. And voila, you have now changed your life and talk to a qualified doctor. Your kidneys will thank you later. Your bladder isn't just about comfort. It's the frontline defense for your kidneys. Protect it first thing every morning and you protect your life. Have you ever delayed peeing in the morning because you were busy or tired? Comment below. Sharing could save a kidney today.